Hello and welcome back. This is Sherry with Full Armor of God. And today I have a message for you from the Lord that has four scriptures to accompany it. The first is the book of Isaiah, chapter 24, verses 17 through 23 in the King James Version Bible. And it reads, Fear and the pit and the snare are upon thee, O inhabitant of the earth. And it shall come to pass that he who fleeth from the noise of the fear shall fall into the pit. And he that cometh up out of the midst of the pit shall be taken in the snare. For the windows from on high are open and the foundations of the earth do shake. The earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean dissolved. The earth is moved exceedingly. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard, and shall be removed like a cottage, and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it, and it shall fall and not rise again. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall punish the host of the high ones that are on high, and the kings of the earth upon the earth, and they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit." and shall be shut up in the prison, and after many days shall they be visited. Then the moon shall be confounded, and the sun ashamed, when the Lord of hosts shall reign in Mount Zion, and in Jerusalem, and before his ancients gloriously. The second scripture is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 24, verse 10, in the King James Version Bible, and it reads, and I will send the sword, the famine, and the pestilence among them till they be consumed from off the land that I gave unto them and to their fathers. The third scripture is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 50 through 52 in the King James Version Bible. And it reads, Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I shew you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed." The fourth and final scripture is the book of James, chapter 5, verses 1 through 9 in the King James Version Bible, and it reads, Go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth-eaten. Your gold and silver is cankered and the rest of them shall be a witness against you, and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Ye have heaped treasure together for the last days. Behold the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud, crieth, and the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth. Ye have lived in pleasure on the earth and been wanton. Ye have nourished your hearts as in a day of slaughter. Ye have condemned and killed the just, and he doth not resist you. Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waiteth for the precious fruit of the earth and hath long patience for it until he received the early and latter rain. Be ye also patient. Establish your hearts, for the coming of the Lord draweth nigh. Grudge not one against another, brethren, lest ye be condemned. Behold, the judge standeth before the door. Now for the message given from the Lord God on January the 7th, 2023. Shifting land, shifting space, 
The human race is ending on this dying planet. Planet Earth is teetering on its axis. A great shaking is about to take place. The human race is not ready for it. No one is prepared for the coming destruction. It will lead to many things, wars and famine and pestilence, to name a few. The skies will reveal to you what has been hidden in plain view. No more secrecy. The veil will be lifted. The sight will be surreal to see. Nothing like it has been witnessed in modern days. It is the end of the age of grace. I will be taking mine home with me. Some will be left behind for further refinement, yet others will be defiant and curse me, your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. They have gone excuse me, they have grown accustomed to their lives of luxury at the expense of those less fortunate. Their money and wealth will be taken from them. It will be transferred to my servants who will reap in the great harvest of souls. Their roles will change in an instant. It will all happen in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye. At the last trump, some will die, some will cry, yet my faithful remnant bride will shout for joy in the midst of chaos. They will be provided for and they will endure to save my lost sheep out of the enemy's grasp. Many will come to me during these final hours. I will have come to set the captives free once the great tribulation has begun. I will show everyone who I am through my harvest workers. They will say my words and the words of the gospel scriptures. Miracles, signs, and wonders will be performed through them, my holy warriors. They know their assignments and have laid their lives down, down for my purpose. Their dedication under much persecution has strengthened them in their resolution to bring my lost sheep back into the fold. Now you have been told a major calamity never seen before by humanity will be the starting point for it all. A kickoff event, a trigger for the evil dictators to initiate the war on the coast of America. It will lead to World War III. I will be coming for my faithful bride, those who've washed their garments clean in the blood of the Lamb, Understand it will happen in a moment's time. You must be ready and proclaim to be mine. I want all of my sheep here with me in paradise on New Jerusalem. Repent from sinning, for it will be a new beginning for those who've asked for forgiveness with a contrite heart and a humbled spirit. With everlasting love, Jesus, your holy Redeemer and blessed hope. So this message speaks of an earthquake and the destruction and about the end of the human race on this planet which is dying I'm not going to go through all of it I'll just give you some key points it also talks about the end of the age which is the age we're living in which is the age of grace it talks about your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ being ready to take his home with him 
He says, some will be left behind for further refinement, yet others will be defiant and curse me, your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And then he speaks of the rich. It says here, they have grown accustomed to their lives of luxury at the expense of of those less fortunate, their money and wealth will be taken from them. It will be transferred to my servants who will reap in the great harvest of souls. This is considered the wealth transfer in the final days. These are my words. It will all happen in a moment in a in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump. These are his words. Some will die, some will cry, yet my faithful remnant bride will shout for joy in the midst of chaos. They will be provided for and they will endure to save my lost sheep out of the enemy's grasp. Many will come to me during these final hours. I will have come to set the captives free once the great tribulation has begun. And further down, it says, My harvest workers, they will say my words and the words of the gospel scriptures. Miracles, signs, and wonders will be performed through them, my holy warriors. Further down, now you have been told a major calamity never seen before by humanity will be the starting point for it all. A kickoff event, a trigger for the evil dictators to initiate the war on the coast of America. It will lead to World War III. I will be coming for my faithful bride, those who've washed their garments clean in the blood of the Lamb. Understand it will happen in a moment's time. You must be ready and proclaim to be mine. Okay, so he's telling you if you're not ready, you will be left behind to be refined. And you will have to endure through a lot of trials during the Great Tribulation. So please be ready when he comes. Make your garments clean. Ask for forgiveness of sins. Get in your Bibles. Know him and accept him into your hearts today before it's too late. And may God bless you.